Hello. Is this thing on? How's everybody doing this fine evening? Oh man, I don't know about you, but I am actually pretty tired. <laughs> I've been having a run back and forth, um, doing chores and whatnot, so I'm, I'm glad that I was able to at least make it back in time for this. So, um, let's see here. All right. So, I should probably say something. Uh, <laughs> how's it going, everyone? Uh, once again, I'm Sonic Star. Um, you might have seen me earlier today. This go around, I'll be playing some good old Sonic CD. Um, but before I do that, can we just get another round of applause for Super Sonic? Because doing all three classic Sonics back to back is, is, is not an easy feat. Um, Sonic 3 and Knuckles, especially. Uh, <laughs> that is a game that I recall not many people really wanting to run because it's it's super intimidating. So seeing those kinds of runs in a marathon now is it's absolutely mind blowing. So kudos to him for that. Uh, anyways, Sonic CD is not gonna be as um, I guess we should say intense. It's mainly gonna be uh, more of a smooth ride, more so to speak. More execution, routing, not really much of, in terms of glitches, so should be nice. Uh, also, just a reminder, um, y'all should very much keep donating. Please do that. It is very much appreciated. And uh, with that, I guess we'll get started. So, three, two, one, go. All right. Uh, so I usually give my spiel on Sonic CD when I start runs here, so... Yeah, this is Sonic CD. This was originally a, um, game released in 93 on the Sega CD. Gave us Metal Sonic, uh, Amy... I was about to say Little Big Planet, uh, Little Planet. Uh, <laughs> wrong game franchise. Uh, and, um, yeah, a pretty fun game. Uh, this is the 2011 remake by uh, Simon Tomley and Christian Whitehead, which comes with a whole bunch of different, like, fixes and changes. So immediately, <laughs> the main thing you'll see here is Tails, who, who uh, has this little ability that lets him fly, which allows me to do stuff like this. <laughs> And let's me fly all the way to the end of the level. Um, which is pretty nice. I'm gonna get it. Oh, no, I thought I was gonna get stuck by the rock, but all right. <laughs> um, but yeah, so Tails is a thing. He can fly all the way across stages. It's pretty nice. Um, as you might have seen, the spin dash is more in line with like Sonic 2 and 3. And there are some, also some slight like physics changes as well. So this is a r radically different speed game, I want to say, compared to like the original 93 release. So it makes for some pretty interesting strats here, which you're about to see with this boss. So I take damage um, so that I can just wail on Robotnik three times there. And that allows me to, do, to get through that boss real quickly. A 1990. Wow. I think it's possible to get an 18 on that stage, but it you have to play pretty perfect. So, um, but yeah, as you can see, um, it's very much like a more relaxed run uh, compared to like, you know, Sonic 3 or any of the other classic Sonic. Um, so you're in collision chaos. We're just gonna grab these speed shoes jump on this flipper, start flying, and then hold right. And that'll get us all the way to the end. There we go. 24 is not too bad.
which version of the boss team do I like better? I, I mean, it kind of depends. Um, I do like the style of the music in the Japanese version. It gives more of that, like, funky, weird style that I like about, like, Sonic, but I think the U.S. version really... <laughs> It's, it's a bit hard to describe. It, it really sets in that, like, dystopian feeling or something, that feeling that something's wrong, you know? I guess it just kind of depends on what your flavor you're into, you know? So, uh, yeah, as you can see, Tails is kind of... kind of broken. Um, what I did... And that stage is something called, uh, not fast flight, I think slope gliding or spin dash flying. One of the two words. Um, I'll explain in just a moment, but. Bye bye, pinball boss. <laughs> so yeah, that, that, this boss right here, uh, we call the pinball machine and uh, we gotta see whether or not we are the pinball wizard. Uh, so... 17 seconds is pretty good, all things considered. But yeah, um... Actually, before I explain, I need to do this skip. By charging a spin dash and jumping here and bouncing on this enemy, you can go right on top of this stage here. Skip's having to traverse a little bit of the level here. And then if I do this just right, I'm going to actually time travel and hopefully I'll get a speed boost. Ah, okay, I hit the wall. So the idea is to um, actually fly all the way to the other side here uh, with that spring speed. Um, that's actually a strat that I recently learned. Uh, Shoutouts to Matsukari for that. Um, but yeah, uh, sp spin dash or slope flying or slope lighting. Yeah. Um, so an interesting thing about this game is that um, when you jump or when you spin dash only once by doing just one rev, so just tapping the uh, jump button once and then you go off of a slope the game thinks that you only just jumped and so when you press jump again while in the air you can start flying and so because of that we can get a whole bunch of speed off of a ramp and just fly all the way to the end of the level like you saw in Collision and Chaos 2. And there's some other skips, but it's it's a nice little bit of speed tech here, so... By the way, it looks like I died, but... I'm actually fine. <laughs> Time travel do be weird sometimes. Uh, <laughs> By the way, I did time travel in this stage because it's slightly faster. In the present, there's a switch you have to hit, but in the past, you don't have to worry about that, so... Alright. This is probably going to be the hardest boss in the game here. So... I'm just going to concentrate just a little bit. Alright, just give me a moment. Oh, okay. <laughs> so that's one of the things about Tails. <laughs> you can just kind of fly up into bosses and just decimate them. <laughs> it's great. I love it. A 40 on that stage is actually pretty decent. It's garlic powder. Can never have too much garlic. I agree. Garlic is 
the essential spice of life, in my opinion. It is so good. <laughs> All right, quartz quadrant is pretty straightforward. There's not really much to talk about here. Oh, geez. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. All right. <laughs> Quartz 2. There's some new strats I learned here. I'm gonna see if I can try and get them, so... Alright. Going good, going good. Alright. Alright, 22. Not bad at all. Yes, I, I am indeed not a vampire, I'll have you know. I, I come from a no-vampire household. <laughs> Alright. Quartz 3. This boss I like to call the Running Man. I think it's gonna be pretty self-explanatory in just a few seconds here, so there's not really much to talk about this boss. Um, the main thing is you wanna make sure you keep your speed on this treadmill here. Um, so that way you grind down uh, Robotnik's machine there. Have we, have we decided if, it, if it's Robotnik or Eggman? <laughs> Can someone, yeah, someone get a poll up? Just, just, let's set the record straight here. <laughs> and while you're doing that, please, please, um, consider donating. We would all very much appreciate it. Oh yeah, I, I know Eggman's the original name. It's just, I don't know, there's something about Robotnik, you know, it really, that really gets to me, you know? It, it really speaks to me in, in ways that Eggman just doesn't. But maybe that's just me being a 90s kid. <laughs> All right, so here's the, probably the nightmare level. Okay, 34, that's not bad. All right, Wacky 2. So the thing about Wacky Workbench is that it's very much dependent on like cycles. Um, so in Act 1, there's not really much you can do about cycles. Uh, in Act 2, the cycles are just very tight to hit. Uh, the main thing to watch out for here are the bouncy floor cycles. Uh, I do believe they start the moment the stage uh, begins, so... And now we get to the actual uh, nightmare <laughs> uh, level. This is the actual like hardest uh, stage in the game because there's going to be a trick coming up where we use something called fast flight, where essentially we we press A um, as we are flying up into the air or as we are jumping up into the air to get a lot of vertical speed like this. And so the idea is to land on these 
um, these blocks that fall down. So that way we don't have to wait about, um, we don't have to wait for them to fall to the ground to bounce us up. Like so. That's probably by far the hardest trick in the run. So I'm glad that I got that first try. All right. Okay, so we get a little bit of a breather here. Um, start a speedway. Uh, there's not really much to talk about. You mainly want to be in the top path for this uh, for this level, so. My infinite, maybe, maybe the egg shape is just muscle, you know. It could be just all, all muscle, you know. Like, maybe that's why he's able to outrun Sonic at times. Just, just eggs for thought, you know. Egg soul. <laughs> I mean, eggs are protein, you know. <laughs> I'm sure that protein's got to go somewhere. All right. So now we get the famous uh, race against Metal Sonic here. And the thing about the race in this version is that this is essentially a glorified auto scroller. Um,. Metal Sonic will rubber band you. So you just got to make sure you're ahead of him by the end of the stage. The real race is against Robotnik. Could be that he was so super fat. Well, if, I mean, if that's the case, then wouldn't wouldn't his egg shape like deform whenever he runs or, or something? I don't, I don't know. Like it, the fact that it's still like a perfect egg shape, I, I feel like it's more muscle if anything. But that's just me. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. Where is this conversation heading? <laughs> I, I don't I don't know how we got here. Um, anyway, speed runs, Sonic CD. Um, we're heading into the final zone. Uh, Metallic Madness. This one's pretty straightforward. <laughs> All right, so I'm just gonna do a spin dash jump here. Just try and circumvent a lot of a lot of stuff here. Okay. Twenty-three, not bad. You started it. Hey, listen. <laughs> I forgot what I was gonna say. Uh, <laughs> I was gonna say something, and then and then I forgot. Um. <laughs> Listen, I'm just, I'm just stating facts here. I'm just laying down information in a logical and coherent manner. <laughs> All 
right? So yeah, Tails is is a little broken here. Um. <laughs> Got an egg shape. Yeah, maybe it's one of those like. Maybe it's like an egg-shaped corset, you know? You gotta keep up that body. Uh, that body image, you know? Nice. The double hit. All right. So I'm gonna go for a trick that'll let me hit this boss twice. Uh, which will let me skip a phase, and that would save, hopefully, like, five seconds or so. Hey, got it. Alright. All right, let's close this up. Nineteen twenty-eight. All right. And there you go, that's Sonic CD. So I actually got a few shout outs uh, to make here. Um, first off, big shout outs to Flying Fox. Um, she is a major inspiration. Um, her runs basically um, in inspired me to run this game, and I probably wouldn't be here without her, or running here without her, you know? Um, also, big shout-outs to the Sonic CD community, now that there's an actual community. Um, <laughs> it's, it's wild, because, like, um, back then... This game didn't really get a whole lot of attention. Um, it was usually like the other classic Sonics, which even then, it, because those runs are so intimidating, not a whole lot of people ran them. So back in 2016, there was this massive revolution that happened, and I I still don't understand. I still don't know what exactly happened, but suddenly there were a lot of other runners and you know I, I i couldn't be any happier so thank you so much um if you're ever interested in learning this or any of the other sonic games we do have a discord um a community discord if you just go on speedrun.com um also um, let me see. Again, big shout out. Again, big shout outs to Retro Gaming Live for giving me the opportunity to run this. It's they are a bunch of awesome people, and they're doing this for an awesome cause. And yeah, thank you all so much. Uh, and with that, I am probably gonna get some sleep. So. <laughs> It's, it's been a real fun one. Y'all take care. Y'all have a good one.